Hi and welcome to another GIMP tutorial. Today I'm going to do one of my favorite things to do with GIMP and that is uh, alter images. Um, what you're looking at here is another Art Deco style structure which is one of my favorite type of architecture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these windows here and remove them. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that here in a second. The tools in GIMP to do this are actually pretty straightforward and uh, once you start doing it, pretty easy actually to do this. So let me, um, let me start showing you. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of take into account the surrounding areas around the window. Now here, the wall around here is a little bit darker. Here it's a bit, little bit lighter. What I'm going to be doing is copying this wall area here and covering up that window. And the same thing over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create or select the box tool and I'm going to drag it around this area. And that's about right. Go up to edit, copy, and then I'm going to create a new layer. Um, just in case I have to adjust the brightness and contrast to help it match this the area around around this window. I probably won't have to do that but it's a good idea to create another layer so you can adjust it separately from the base image. So let me go up to dialogues, layers, bring that up. I want to make sure that this new layer is selected. I could rename that layer but I'm not going to right now. So let's uh, edit, paste, and um, let's go ahead and drag that pasted over there and say edit, paste. Actually I need to go back because I didn't quite, I don't want that, oops. There we go. Kind of covered some area that I didn't want to cover. And let me paste another one. Okay. All right. So, okay. Looks good. So the next step is come up here. to kind of look at that from from a distance or actually just make it a little smaller whoops not that small and as you can see it looks okay but there's an obvious difference here there's a real kind of line sitting there you can kind of tell something's happened there the image has been changed now what we're going to want to do is to go in and kind of remove that and make it look more natural but before we do that let's merge that layer get rid of it and then we're going to work on this window over here. So let me make that image a little bigger. And let's go over there and, and grab a segment and cover that window up. Okay. drag that over there and drag another one over there okay okay let's Merge all layers. Okay. So this one obviously needs a lot more editing. You can really tell um, what I've done. And over here it looks much better. So let's uh, let's first work on the the easier task. So let me go ahead and I'm going to zoom in there a little bit. And what we're going to use is the clone tool. This is a great tool. And what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to push the control button and I'm going to select an area that I want to clone. So I'm going to click there and then I come over here and you'll notice that I'm cloning over the edge. Already you can see that helps to make it look like it belongs. It makes it look a lot more natural. So I can continue doing that, go around. Now you can use the brush settings on the clone tool. So you can kind of, well that wasn't what I wanted to do. Let me do that again. You can kind of lighten it a little bit, um, lower the pressure. I'm not really going to do any of that because I'm not too concerned about that right now. I just want to kind of give you the idea of how this works. I'll come down to all these edges and let me come up a little bit. That's not looking so bad. Let's uh, come out a little bit and see what it looks like. Um, it still could use some work, but again, that's looking a lot better. Um, and again, I just want to give you the idea how you can do this. So let's go back and um, let's go over here, zoom in, and uh, work with this a little bit. Um, again, select the clone tool, press control. In this case, I'm going to actually go on top of the layer that I put in there, kind of get rid of that line. That's all I want to do. here sometimes it's easy to get lazy doing this and just, just keep clicking but you'll notice when you do that um, you pick up some uh, some stuff you don't want to Let me grab over here a little bit mix it up doing my best to kind of kind of vary make it look as natural as possible. And we grab some over here. And you can see, you can have some fun doing this. Um, again, I want to get rid of that line. There's other tools you can use as well. You can smudge things, blur things a little bit. Um, again, just to get it to blend in. And this definitely needs some work right in there. Let's, uh, yeah, move it around a little bit. So let's come out and take a look at that. Looks better. Still could use some work, but this should give you kind of an idea of how easy it is to do this and how much fun it can be. Thank you for watching.